we're almost out of time. I want to make sure that everybody knows how they can help. So it's CrowdRise. What do they search to get to the, the page for CrowdRise? Um, they can go to autismrocksla.com um, and they can press the Donate Now button and it takes them to the CrowdRise page. And um, they, it's on Facebook, it's on Twitter. And the name on Facebook is Autism Rocks LA? No, Autism Rocks Concert. Okay, Autism Rocks Concert. Um, and you, what's your, um, your Twitter? Um, at AK, um, AKLIN 98. Okay, so there isn't one for Autism Rocks. Um, there is. It there is. Autism Rocks LA. I should have asked what is the, the Twitter handle for that. Yeah. I asked what yours was. You answered the question. I asked the wrong question. <laughs> um, okay, and what, what you really need right now is uh, some people to donate. You've had some donations, but you could use some more donations yeah, to make it happen. Yeah, we're almost there. We're eight, about 8,000 right now. Yeah, it's all, it's all crowdfunded. So the idea was to pay for the production of the entire campaign would be people like you and me, just fans that believed in the cause. So we said, okay, the concert's gonna cost $10,000. Mm -hmm. We're at about $8,000 now, so okay. we got about 2,000 to go. Um, that'll cover all the expenses, and then the rest we're gonna donate to um, Autism, Autism Society. Society. Yeah. Which I'm sure they're friends of ours too. They'll love yeah. that. Yeah. And then is there a cost for the tickets on the no. night up? No, it's so a free it's concert. a free concert yeah. happening on Friday the 29th at Universal City Walk, and what time is it? 7 p.m. Yep. 7 p.m. And we, um, yesterday on the show, because uh, we've been uh, helping you to potentially yes. find some talent yes. yeah. uh, besides James Durbin, and uh, we just did a, a video piece on a very special drummer, um, and so yeah. uh, Logan Shepard. Oh, Logan, yeah. And I know what a big deal it is to him and his family that he's going to participate. Yeah. There are several other talented people that we've been trying to funnel your way that uh, yeah, are yeah. friends of our show that we've seen. Because I happen to know that our spectrum is very talented. And I, and I will say, and and because Alex is, is humble and won't say it, but I'm going to say it. Um, she's been awesome um, helping with, with talent. Logan is a drummer, has autism, is part of a really cool band. Um, with his friends and I asked Alex once you came to me I said Logan is a drummer has autism wouldn't it be cool if his band opened it up opened up the concert and I said it's your call it's your concert you let me know and and Alex said he said uh, I want I want to make Logan's dream come true and, and you know that's I think that's exactly what's happening. It's so meaningful to him. Yeah. And I and I just I'm watching all these dominoes fall and I'm seeing how many lives you're affecting already. Oh, thank and it's you. not the day of yet. <laughs> and so on the day of, so that's just the people who are getting involved. But on the day of when people watch this, I, I want you to take a moment and look at the audience and see what you've done, young man. It's really impressive already. Thank you. I um, really appreciate I really appreciate you. I appreciate you. We're going to get you a cow. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and Ned, I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah, thank you. Uh, we're going to clone you. We're going to clone <laughs> both of you, actually. Because yeah. um, we do need more mentors. And... Uh, so anything else that you want to say about the concert in any way that somebody can help? Yeah, free show, Friday, April 29th, to celebrate Autism Awareness. City Walk, it's going to be awesome. James Durbin, we're going to have so many people out there. It's going to be, it's going to be a fun, fun night. And if people can support it, go to CrowdRise, type in Autism Rocks, and you'll see it. We're almost there. We'd love, would love to help and support. And, okay. and uh, I'm sorry. No? Um, so like, um, I also wanted to say, like, um, remember, um, Harry Potter World is open, so like <laughs> you can go, you can go to Harry Potter World first, then go to the smart. concert. Smart, yeah, absolutely, smart. very smart. Have you seen James German perform live yet? N I never seen. I only see him on TV. I saw him on the finale um, last Thursday. Yeah, wasn't he good? Yeah, he finale? was good. He's gonna rock your world. <laughs> he's amazing live. I have seen him live, and he's amazing. Yeah, I, 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 I I'm. When I first um, saw him on American Idol, I was like, I want him to win. He's an Me awesome too. voice. He had the, he had the rocking personality. But that time I didn't know what Therese is. But like, but he was, but I feel cheer for him. I'm like, why didn't those fans vote for him? So he can be first place. <laughs> I just, I don't get yeah, that. but there's lots of people that didn't win that have gone on to bigger and better things. Yeah, right? true. So like Tori Kelly. And yeah. how about uh, Jennifer Hudson and yeah. Daughtry? Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. come on, you don't have to win that thing to, right. to, yeah. to do well. And James is one of the nicest people yeah, I've ever met. He is. Had, I, isn't call, he? I caught him um, in January, I think, and like he was super sincere and like really, really um, nice and like. Um, I just love him. Nice <laughs> and he's a good we, dad. What happened was, so we, 
we got in touch, and after Alex said, you know, let's let's see if we can get James Durbin. So we emailed him. He emailed right back. He said, I'd love to be a part of this. We all got in a call. I said, Alex, take it away. Tell him tell him what you want. And he told him the story, and James was like, I'm in. So he was awesome. orchestrating it. And and you should share, you know, before we close, you know, the whole idea was, you know, autism rocks. Like, how are you rocking it? Whether it's autism or whatever the challenges are, you know. Like you said, I think you should talk about a little bit about you know about being different and what that means yeah. to you. Yeah, so like my agenda was always for my old school, whatever till now. My my goal was always to like make people understand that you know this is really the key to understand. It challenges what's different in society, and that's really what we need in this in this society today. That thing like being different is fine, being different is okay. Um, it affected a lot of people in my old school. Um, my friend, um, who is um, a lesbian, um, is being accepted by other people in my old school. And um, I don't know if it was my concert or was part of it, but I'm glad that, that she's being accepted because she should, because like, um, I mean, I mean I'll, I'll, be ter I'll be like very upset if I wasn't accepting myself. And it'll be, I'll be a hypocrite if I said I, I, I wouldn't accept them because I accept them for who they are and you know, they should live their own life and it's so important because it establishes patience, cooperation skills and makes people more happier. I mean like, I mean like, this fixes so many problems and people like look at me like I'm crazy but it's true, it does. I mean like because, like, like you can't say it's because of people with autism and it reflects back to, oh you can't say, um, like straightforward, mean, straight up mean things to other people that are normal too, or like you have to include other people. If you, the more you include, the more happy you become. You know that's 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 how I um, live my life.